Hey everybody, this is Kathy from Whole Home and Body Health and today I want to show you something specific to sprinter vans and um, some of the other uh, van life vans that are so popular right now. The Promasters and um, there's some other brands out there that are all pretty similar. The bodies look pretty similar and I want to show you an issue EMF wise with all of these vans because all the ones I've seen have had the battery actually located right under the foot of the driver, the feet of the driver, which is causing really elevated magnetic fields. So let's go take a look. All right, so um, these vans are super cool. And this one is a 2008 you can see it's built out, it's got water, it's got a bed, it's got lights, it's got a fan. Um, so here is the driver's seat. And right under here, this is the battery. Right under here. And like I said, most of these vans are like that. So I'm going to get in here and show you. Whoops. If I pull this up, you can see that that is the battery. Okay, it's um, an unfortunate placement of the battery of all places that they could do it. So we are concerned about magnetic fields with that battery, so I've got my NFA 1000 here. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on, see what kind of magnetic fields we might be getting. So I've got one, I've gotten a magnetic field right now even though nothing is on, the key is not in the engine, but it's probably there because I had the door open a second ago. Let me open the door again. And when I open the door, the LED lights go on to the panel. And so I don't know if it's just, you know, still, it, well, it is, the light's still on. So it's just um, there because the battery is there. And it's 0.9, and remember, we want this to be under 0.2. 0.9 is not bad for a vehicle. It's actually really good. Um, but, of course, I don't even have the key in the ignition. So let's see what we get. I'm going to turn the engine on. Now, this is a diesel, so i got to wait a second. Oh, jeez. So there you go. The engine is not even running, but I'm already getting 30 milligauss right where my feet would be. Um, and that's extremely high, extremely high. Now, if I run it, it went up to 50 there for a minute. So it's fluctuating 34, 50. Now let's see what happens if I get it on the pedal. If I accelerate, 36, if I brake, so it actually, uh, that's a big difference just right on the pedal. And now this is probably because the negative and positive leads are actually coming to the battery right about here. So that is quite high. Now let's see what we got on the driver's seat. 0 0.6, 0 0.5, 1. Let's see what happens if I accelerate. That's not too bad. I did test this earlier and I was getting up to 4, so I don't know why it's lower right now. Um, but this is astonishingly high so if you are a sensitive person um, this is absolutely not going to work for you um, 30 milligauss on the floor while you're driving it that's way too high um, I am kind of sensitive but not um, that sensitive relative to many people and when I was driving this car, I felt like crap. So it even bothered me. With, so that's not good. Um, now, like I said, the, the two leads to the battery um, do come out 
together to the battery, but then they're separated. Uh, and so I'm going to try to change how those are ran so that the two wires are close together. If we can get the negative and the positive leads closer together, we will have some cancellation of the magnetic field. So I'm going to attempt to do that, and obviously um, I will film that and see what we get. Um, we may get a reduction, we may not. Um, so stay tuned for a video on that. But for now, I just wanted you guys to see what was going on in these vans. They're awesome. Um, you know, they're great to have. A lot of people are living in them. I think that's cool. I would like to do the same, but I'm not going to do that if I can't fix this issue, uh, because it's just too big. So that's it. Um, questions, comments, concerns, please leave them below. Do all the things and hit all the buttons you're supposed to do. And we will see you next time. Thanks everybody. Bye.